Hey guys, it's Tuesday and so I thought I'd share another tip with you. And this week what I'm going to share with you is uh, an easy way, an affordable way um, to help manage your loose powder. So uh, this is actually uh, something that men who use the sort of traditional um, brush to shave with, you know, they work up a lather with the soap and kind of brush it on, uh, and you would store the cake of soap in this little box here, this little wooden box, and I guess they would wet the brush and swirl it around and put it on their face. Uh, but I have in here just some loose setting powder, um, and the good thing about this is I was looking for something that would be attractive enough that I could leave it on my vanity and not hate to look at it. Um, it's also nice because um, it has a lid, so you know that you can put some loose powder in here at a time, and if you have any excess, you can store it without worrying that it's going to get um, dust or water or anything else in there. And it's also bigger than your sort of traditional um, powder or mineral makeup if it's loose, um, the size that you could use to kind of get your brush in there. So I'll show you here. This is a neutral set by Ben Nye. It's a translucent setting powder. And uh, you just tap a little. You don't need a whole lot at a time. Um, tap a little into there. And then I have two brushes. I brought out to show you. Um, this is a uh, kabuki brush by Inglot. Uh, it's not my favorite kabuki brush, but it's what I have. And also, um, this is the older style. Uh, has a silver handle from Sephora. Um, it's a really nice soft brush. So um, if it's still in their sales section, I would recommend picking it up. Um, they probably have. Uh, this is just for reference. Number forty powder brush. Um, so they probably have a new uh, a new style that's equivalent to this. But anyway, it's just a flat paddle style powder brush. Um, so whichever you prefer, you just kind of dab it in your powder there and you can kind of knock off the excess um, either by tapping it on the edge here or sometimes I even uh, take the lid and kind of tap it on there to kind of brush it off. Um, but anyway, you get some and then you just out of your face like you normally would and that's basically it. Um, so again this is really affordable, it's attractive. I've seen these in different colors. Um, I've seen them in like a natural wood color, um, probably more of a medium warm brown tone I would say. Um, but anyway I'll put a link below. I don't remember before I look it up how much I paid for it, but I want to say it was in the neighborhood of like five dollars. So really affordable, really attractive. It's wood. Um, it's meant to be used with soap and water, so you can leave it next to your sink and, you know, water gets on it or whatever. It's not going to ruin the wood. Um, yeah, so I think that's about all I have to say about it, really. Um, it's a nice, simple trick or tip to use. Um, so you don't have to worry about making a mess when you're trying to swirl your brush in, whatever powder you're using. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.